the picture that you found in the old house in Rosyth Street. That brings me back to, oh, many years ago. The old house was when I met Cathy, and that was when you'd found that I'd lost that. And I brought back all the memories when I was a lot younger and so was Cathy. I came over here because a friend of mine. I stayed here in the Oatlands. I lived in Rother's Lane Road beside the wee pub. The people were very friendly. And then I guess there's something about Irish people as well. They liked the people from Ireland. And I thought, you know, this is cool, you know. You were welcoming. And it just became part of life to me after a while. So, but the people were wonderful. Everybody was happy and this, that and the other one was coming in and there was always people when you went down the street and the old off sales and the chippy, you could smell the old chippy and all and you know it was just one of those, like in the 50s would have been perhaps, although it was beyond the 50s but it was like that to me, it was just nice. We all sat out in the garden and all the wains and watched the children and all growing and we all had uh, sausage rolls, everything, we barbecues, not to mention the, the odd wee vodka like, you know, but everything was great and everybody was happy and everybody had passed by the hedge, hello, how you doing? And oh, it was wonderful. So the old Oatlands is a, a good charisma and I even knew the people that I knew and even knew their mums and that was nice. But now it's, it's different. More the community has fell away from the old Oatlands because they've been rehoused over in this new estate. Over there is called the Link, and this side's the GHA. In this block here, I'm the only one from the Oatlands. In the old sandstone, when you went in the door, it's just an old house. But there was an old, there was a, a lovable atmosphere in the house, right? It's, it's a thing that you get, uh, you can feel it, you can sense it. There was a feeling in it. It's a happy home. Whereas this is more modern completely, a uh, lot nicer to live in, but it hasn't got any faults as such, right? Whereas with the, the old property, you know, there was a smell about it as well. The kid, when my wee lassie come down, she could go out in the garden and bring her wee pals, and there's only kiddies, and it's great. And you went about with kids' things and pushed them about, and wee, wee uh, buses and wee carts and all, all that's all gone. Whereas here's a lovely home, this is a nice house, but the charisma's not here. But it's a better home, perhaps, with modern technology and all, but it doesn't have that old feeling, that old time feeling. When I seen the old house where I stayed, been demolished, and the one where Cathy stayed. But her house was the last one's done, but once I seen it demolished, it tore a bit out of me. And even old Rosyth Street, my house, ah, it's gone. Just to see a lifetime destroyed sort of thing, and all those people, where have they all gone? It's probably like Alan the Rigby and the Beatles. It is, it's this sort of story. All the people, all the lonely people, where did they go? Where did everybody go? I didn't see the old friends anymore, and all I seen was ruins, as if it had been a bad dream. 
and it was like something you probably would have seen in the war, although I wasn't born. But to see the way it was all damaged, and I thought, well, all they had to do was to do them up, and this would never, the community would still be there. I met Cathy Newton from all those years ago. She's in a wheelchair now, unfortunately. And uh, it was kind of sad after all the running about we'd done. And she always had a tea towel over her shoulder and always cooking and, oh, what do you want? No, nothing was too much bother for her. She loved the kids in the openings. No, you mind yourselves, no, and it was all happy. But those days are gone and her health deteriorated a wee bit, obviously and I still go down to see her because she's not capable of coming up. I'm basically on my own, as I say, but, you know, I've just old memories of the old ones and that's the way it goes.